Well, hello again, everyone. Got a little touch of spring fever this morning, so I was looking over some seed catalogs. But then you look outside, and we're smack dab into another snowstorm. It doesn't look like we'll be gardening for a while. I'm just going to take a little bit of time this morning and talk about one of my favorite vegetables to grow. It's one of the most versatile vegetables in the garden. It's the good old standby, the zucchini. We always had a garden in the backyard when I was a kid, and zucchini was always a part of it. One plant and some good fertile soil will yield a lot of zucchini. My mom used to slice it and season it up, fry it in a cast iron skillet. Sometimes she'd cube it up, put it in the steamer, serve it with butter and salt. She made zucchini breads and muffins, but that was about it. Before long, you were pretty sick of zucchini and giving away your surplus. It was pretty evident that all gardeners felt that way because you'd come home from work and there'd be zucchini on the front steps. You'd find them in the mailbox. In fact, the only reason folks locked their cars back then was to keep other neighbors from stuffing it full of zucchini. <laughs> My, how times have changed. Sliced zucchini can be seasoned and cooked in a skillet, in the oven, or on the grill. It can also be battered and deep fried and enjoyed with a dipping sauce. It makes a great replacement for eggplant and can be used in Parmesan and lasagna type recipes. We use it in soups and stews and sauces and it makes wonderful breads and muffins as well. Zucchini can replace cucumbers in most pickle recipes and it also makes a wonderful relish in salsa. If you're dieting and cutting carbs, using zucchini as a pasta replacement will not only boost the nutritional value of your entree, it will do so with a fraction of the carbs and calories that pasta has to offer. Well, quite a while back my doctor told me I really needed to cut down on my carbs. We have quite the history of diabetes in my family and I've been borderline diabetic. He told me to stop eating pasta and breads and things like that. And when he told me to stop eating pasta, I was like, good luck with that. Pasta has been like a staple food for me. A few times a week I'd eat spaghetti or uh, macaroni and cheese. Any form of soup always had noodles in it. You weren't going to take that stuff away from me. But about a year ago, my girlfriend started this keto diet where she was tremendously cutting down on her carb intake, changing recipes here in the house. I didn't want to be stuffing my face with these things that she was trying to avoid. So I started to adapt a little bit more to the diet that she was on and using a lot of pasta replacements in the zucchini has been such a game changer it's I can still have all these recipes that I love to enjoy but I haven't eaten pasta now in probably three months to use as a pasta replacement zucchini noodles or zoodles which is the trendy name for them Zoodles can be made by simply passing over the squash with a potato peeler. But a cheese grater can also be used with great results. Pardon the pun. If you want to fancy things up a bit, you can turn your entree into a work of art with one of the spiral slices that I'll list in the description below. Now some of you are probably wondering, what's the benefit of cutting carbs? And why on earth would you want to replace pasta? I share your thoughts. Like I said, I've been enjoying pasta my whole life and I absolutely love the stuff. And it surprises me that I can tell you here today with all honesty that I've eliminated pasta from my diet. I've been enjoying all of my Italian recipes by using zucchini as a replacement for the pasta and I don't miss the pasta whatsoever. By using the zucchini, not only have I dramatically cut my carb intake, but I've upped the nutrition level of my entrees. I'll show you how I use the zucchini as a pasta replacement. 
Shredded or spiralized zucchini can be used in the raw stage, but I like to give it a quick saute with olive oil, garlic, and oregano. It's also great in stir fries with various meats or sausages, or with seafood dishes like shrimp scampi. Sliced zucchini can replace the pasta in lasagna dishes, and layers of breaded zucchini can make an awesome zucchini parmesan. Before I started cutting carbs, I'd fill myself up, then within a few hours I'd be getting the hungries. If I ate a meal that was really high in carbs, like waffles or pancakes, usually within a short amount of time, I'd be going through this major carbo crash, I'd get the shakes, I'd be stuffing my face with whatever I could find. Certainly not a healthy way to go about things. I tried adding a lot more nutrition to my waffles and that helped a lot, but what made all the difference in the world was when I purposely started cutting carbs from my diet Replacing pasta with zucchini made all the difference in the world. I no longer have those carbo crashes, those insulin spikes, and all of those emergency snack attacks have been eliminated from my life. I was 42 grams of carbs and only two ounces of pasta. And two ounces of pasta, my friends, is a very small amount of pasta. There's 200 calories to a serving of pasta, but yet only 17 calories to a serving of shredded zucchini. Not only is the zucchini really high in antioxidants, it's super high in vitamin A and vitamin C, which pasta has none. I don't peel the zucchini when I shred it because the skin is very high in dietary fiber, which helps prevent colon cancer. You can probably gather that there's a lot less people giving their zucchinis away nowadays. <laughs> so I'm going to take a moment now and just show you how I preserve the zucchini that I harvest from my garden. After washing the zucchini, I slice it lengthwise and cut it into cubes. I place the cube squash into a steamer basket in boiling water and steam it for three to four minutes. The next step is to place the squash in an ice water bath until they cool and spread them onto a towel to absorb the excess water. I fill a Ziploc bag with my desired amount and in the freezer they go. These are put up about a pound and a half per bag, which is a nice amount to use uh, for soups and breads and things like that. The blanching process kills the enzymes that causes the squash to break down over time. The cube squash is handy to have on hand we use it in soups and sauces, and stews, zucchini breads, things like that. The shredded squash is what we use as a pasta replacement or in stir fries, scampies, things of that nature. The shredded squash does not require to be blanched. If you're trying to cut carbs or calories or you just want to add a bit more nutrition to your entrees, I highly suggest that you give the zucchini a try. I'm pretty certain you'll be glad you did. So if you like this video, you like the content of my channel, please click the subscribe button and the like button and share this channel with others. I'd certainly appreciate it. So all the best to you and God bless. Frank and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun, taking life a day at a time. Best friends until the end. Frankie and the boss. Frankie and the boss. Frankie and the Boss